it's Morgan in the good Dior. I um I was gonna do this yesterday, but I decided uh well not decided not to, I was just too tired. Actually I'm tired now, but um found that yesterday's Tanya was very um inspiring to me, so I just wanna share it and I'll just read it, it's not too too long, but um the Tanya is a, a compilation of writings from the Alter Rebbe. Uh, Shneur Zaman of Liadi. Uh, he was the first uh, Rebbe of uh, Lubavitch, uh, Lubavitch Hasidim, and uh, so this is uh, this is it. I'm gonna read it, and uh, I hope it's as inspirational to any of you as uh, as it is to me. Um, basically, Tanya is about uh, the Benoni, the person that's kind of like him. Um, kind of like in the middle, he's not uh, he's not like a, a completely righteous person because uh, he still has an e evil inclination even though he doesn't sin. This is what we strive to be, someone that has an evil inclination, the Yitzhahara, but uh, um, <clears throat> an evil person um, generally has the evil inclination but is uh, subdued by it. So this, uh, this book is that about uh, overcoming the evil inclination, although you have, you know, a person has one until it's... Uh, until we get rid of it. So basically, <clears throat> um, this is in the Lakota Amarim, uh, chapter 27. So therefore, one should not feel, I'm just gonna do it in English because I'm not uh, gonna break my, uh, you know, whatever, um, over, over trying to translate. Therefore, one should not feel depressed or even troubled at heart, even if he is in, he'd be engaged all his days, of, uh, all the days of his life in this conflict, which would be his, his issues and stuff. For perhaps this was what he was created for, and this is the service demanded of him to subdue the Sitzrachra constantly, which the Sitzrachra is like the other side, it's the opposite of holiness. Uh, concerning this job, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> it says job. Uh, concerning this Eov, Job, <laughs> said to God, You have created wicked men. The implication of Job's statement is not that they were created to actually be wicked, God forbid. But that there should be occurred to them in their thoughts and, and, mus uh, and musings alone that which occurs to be wicked so that the evil thoughts should enter their mind but they you know and they do and the, as they do it in the mind of the wicked and that and they shall eternally wage war to avert their minds from them in order to sub subjugate the sitsarachra which subduing the the, the sitsarachra and re rather than you know giving it vitality in life because it it receives its life like from 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 us basically not doing the right things, um, you know. Yet they will never be able to annihilate the sitzrach and their souls completely. For this is accomplished by tzaddikim, tzaddikim, which are righteous people. They don't have a evil inclination as we do. <clears throat> for there are two kinds of divine pleasure: one from the complete annihilation of the sitzrach and the conversion of bitter to sweet and of darkness to light, which is accomplished by tzaddikim, and the second. When the Sitaracha is subdued, while it, it's, it is still it is, it is a, uh, at its strongest and most powerful, soaring like an eagle, and from there uh, and from this height, God topples it in response to human initiative. So basically, as a result of our efforts, we subdue the Sitaracha in, 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 in the soul. This is accomplished by the Benoni, which we, we're, we, like regular people, strive to be, I guess. This is alluded to in the verse, <clears throat> and make me delicacy such as I love. Where the word matamim delicacies is written in the plural, indicating two kinds of pleasure. These words are the charge of the Shekhinah to, to its children, the, the, the divine presence. The community of Israel, as explained in Tikkun Zohar, which is its a Kabbalah text, um, that with these words God asks of, of the people of Israel to, to please Him in their, with their divine service. Just as with material food, there are two kinds of delicacies, one of sweet and luscious foods, and the other of sharp and sour articles, which are unpleasant to eat in their natural state, but have been well spiced and prepared so that they become delicacies which revive the soul. So too are the two kinds of spiritual delicacies. This is indicated in the verse, the Lord has made everything for his sake, even the wicked for the day of evil. How can this be said that the rush of the wicked person was created for God's sake? This means, however, that he should repent of his evil 
and turn his evil into day and light above. When the Sitar Akha is subdued, then the glory of God is uplifted on high. Thus the meaning of the words, even in the wicked for the day of evil, is that the purpose of the wicked is to transform the evil into day. So that uh, should be uh, the goal every day, to do better than we did yesterday, and to realize that our issues and problems, um, instead of striving or being uh, down and, 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 and out, or, or uh, really depressed about the things that we don't do well, um, you know, because we want to be righteous people, just just strive to to be the man, and you try to turn that that night into day, and that's uh, that's all I have to say. Hopefully, everybody has a good day, and they turn their 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 night today. All right, Sean.